like to brag, Amy. I started off the new year like a rich millennial with some avocado toast. <laughs> and the one I had right before coming here actually was very ooh, wow, beautiful. I knew I would go viral on Instagram. <laughs> so I, was, I took my phone and I'm like snapping the stupid avocado, but it's not, well, it's not their fault, it's my fault. I'm a crappy photographer, right? <laughs> so I was quick thinking, quick thinking. I went to look for stock images of avocado. I was like, <laughs> this is gonna kill them, kill them, right? And then I got sad when I realized that stock images, killing the avocado modeling industry. <laughs> yeah. Just, we've been photoshopping and sharing the same avocado for who knows how long, how long. Another creative job lost to technology. But comedy, comedy has not yet been taken over by the robots. So, other thoughts and important questions. Anyone here feel awkward when you see someone like begging, right? And I feel awkward. But now I'm starting to think, what are we going to do when we're in a cashless society? Hmm? Should I start walking with old electronics, old cans, and other pawnables in my purse? Like, yeah, I know you asked for five, but here, take my Fitbit. Uh -uh. It's worth 75, and I better not see you on this line for three weeks either. Yeah. Right? I know some people might be thinking, Onisia, living on $75 for three weeks is too long. Well, shut up, okay? <laughs> we all put unrealistic expectations on the poor, right? You know how it is, trying to figure out who's needy, who's a scammer, who is an angel in disguise, right? You're walking around, ah, should I give you a dollar? Should I give you a dollar? You don't have a smartphone. You don't need my dollar. Uh, should I give you a dollar? Should I give you a, do a dog? He's definitely running a scam, OK? <laughs> Speaking of scams, the dog and the angels scamming. If I give cash to an angel in disguise, do I get my money back? <laughs> because they're fake. Their need is fake, but my money is real. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And then I was thinking, what if the money I give to angels in disguise is a down payment on my heavenly mansion? <laughs> mm? 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 They say you can't buy your way into heaven, but I'd be given. I'd be given. So I'm on the train one time. And this guy is asking for money, right? And I think to myself, what would Jesus do? What would you do, Lord? As a Christian, I think people need to be feel. They need to feel like they've been seen, right? So whenever someone's asking me for money, I just, you know, lock eyes with them, let my gaze linger up and down their body. Right? You know how to do it. Your sexy time with the lover. That pancake booty can't compete with an Instagram thought, but you, you do it. We do it. Because Jesus wants people to feel seen. Right? So I give him a little up and down. Sorry, I don't got any money. And I go to sleep. But I can't sleep because his stench feels like an impenetrable wall, right? You ever just step into a fart and spring your wrist because it's so thick and musty? You're just like, ah, my wrist is stinking. So anyways, open my eyes, and this guy is just hovering over me, right? Just breathing heavy, unwashed. And I say, I don't have any money. And this suavemente, he replied, I know, 
Can I have a hug? <laughs> a hug? A hug? Ain't no humble if asked for a hug. <laughs> right? They barely even want food, but he wants a hug? Suspicious! <laughs> right? <laughs> And I did, I sighed on the bus, in his face, in front of everyone. <sighs> what would Jesus do? I get up. Why, Lord Jesus, why, why? And I give this man a hug. And I'm channeling all my love and positive energy. Because when you're doing the Lord's work, you got to go full heart, not half-hearted, right? The last thing you want is to half-hug a hobo and fumble the kingdom bag, right? Right? Fumble it in. Nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi, get off of me, right? And I open my eyes just in time to see this fool going in for a kiss. Oh. Whoa! I was ready to fight this guy, world star, hip hop, bum fight, 2020, right? I don't care how many heavenly mansions are alive, right? And he still flirted with me. You're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. But it was too late. The spell was broken. And I was like, God, run me my karma. Thank you. <laughs>